Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here and something I just wanted to share with everyone today because you guys know I'm not really big on a lot of supplements. I'm a supplement minimalist even though I do have an affiliate with Tiger Fitness. I don't endorse most supplements. I endorse a small handful of very minimal things and fish oil is one of the things that I do endorse and if not fish oil then other sorts of omega-3 supplements. And I understand that for some people who are vegetarian or vegan you could go with an algae-based EPA and DHA supplement. But the thing is, there is data out there to suggest, and again, this isn't confirmed. This just means there's data supporting it. I'm going to link just for you guys, just three studies down below that you guys can look up yourselves if you're interested. That suggests that fish oil improves muscle protein synthesis. It's not dramatically, but it is a mild effect, and uh, there seems to be an anabolic effect. And it's probably largely due to its impact on insulin sensitivity, which is a good thing for nutrient partitioning purposes. If your muscle tissue has a higher amount of insulin sensitivity, more of the carbohydrates that you eat is going to go to your muscle tissue and the same with amino acids and you're going to tend to lose body fat just a little easier if you have better insulin sensitivity. So it's an all around good thing for body composition. Not even going to get into the other potential health benefits, but yeah, there does seem to be at least a mild anabolic effect there. However, it's not dose dependent the way that some people would think it is. Like with some drugs where the more you take, the more you gain. It may not be true with fish oil. It doesn't appear to be. And we know that if you're hitting about 10 of those fish oil caps every day, there do seem to be negative health consequences to that. So a few fish oil capsules every day, if you're not eating fatty fish regularly, may help your gains a little bit. And it's one of the cheapest supplements out there. So it's not like you're breaking the bank for it. So if you're going for bang for your buck, something like fish oil should be part of your arsenal. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time.